Hi guys, so today's video is going to be kind of unique and I am going to do a sample report for you guys, like what my report would be if I was giving report to you as the oncoming nurse on my patients. So I have made up a report. I actually put it kind of on my phone. I don't have my report sheets that I normally use since I'm in between switching jobs and all of that. And so I did a sample report that is very realistic to how I would give report to the oncoming nurse. If you haven't seen my video, I have some tips on giving report. I will leave that link down below and you can go and check that out. So that way you kind of have a better understanding of some tips and tricks on giving report. So I'm just going to jump right in and get started. So this is the patient in room 10B. His name is Joe Smith. He's a 77 year old male and he was admitted today with a COPD exacerbation. Uh, Joe Smith is a DNR, DNI, and he has an allergy to penicillin. Uh, he's got a history of COPD. He smoked for 50 years. He was a, a two-pack-a-day smoker, and he recently quit last year. Uh, he's also got a history of hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and has history of CHF. His vital signs have been good. His blood pressures have been 120s over 180s. His heart rate has been in the 80s to 90s, and he's been satting 91 to 93% on um, O2. He is on 2 liters, and he has not reported any pain. Uh, neuro neuro <laughs> I can't speak. Neurologically, he's been alert and oriented times 4. He's been calling appropriately. There is a bed alarm in place, but he has not uh, made any attempts to get out of bed without calling for help. Respiratory-wise, his lungs are diminished throughout with fine crackles in the bases. He's uh, dyspneic with mild activity, and he's on 2 liters of O2, again, setting 91 to 93%. Our goal is to set between 80 to 94%. His baseline is he is on 1 liter of oxygen at home. Cardiac-wise, he's on telemetry. He has a first-degree AV block. Uh, his pulses have been good. Uh, GI, he's tolerating eating. He ate 50% of his lunch, and then he ate 100% of his dinner. He has had mild shortness of air when he is eating, um, but his sets have not dropped with that. His bowel sounds are present, and he had a bowel movement yesterday. Uh, GU, he voided five times during my shift between 100 to 200 milliliters each. He does have some urgency and frequency, and he is continent, but uses the urinal at the bedside. Skin-wise, he's got a mild skin tear on his left forearm, and it has Mepitel on it. Otherwise, no skin issues. Activity-wise, he's been using the urinal independently. He's a standby assist to the bathroom. He's got SCDs on his legs, and he does um, call appropriately when he needs to get up. IV, he is saline locked. Uh, Lab-wise, his BNP was 435. His K level was 3.2, and so we gave him 40 of PO replacement today. Diagnostic imaging wise, he had a chest x ray done in the ER. It did not show any pneumonia, it just showed emphysema and hyperinflation, but they will be doing a repeat chest x ray in two days. Uh, meds, he's on PO Lasix by daily and metoprolol by daily, which are controlling is controlling his blood pressure well. He's on azithromycin, and he's getting uh, PRN Tylenol if needed, but he has not reported any pain. Uh, Social-wise, he's got two sons and two daughters who all came with to the hospital tonight to eat dinner with him. They've left for the evening, and the son will be back in the morning. His oldest son is named Josh, and he is the DPOA, and his number is on the whiteboard in the room. Uh, the patient lives independently, and his wife passed away two years ago from COPD, so he's a bit anxious about his um, exacerbation. Social work is involved in placement. And at the end of the report, I always ask if they have any questions. And I do go slower when giving report than this because of, you know, obviously the nurse is writing things down. Um, but that is how I give report. I know it's kind of quick because you don't want me to just have these long, awkward pauses when giving report. Uh, if there's any words or things that you're confused about in this report, if you have anything to add, I'm sure there are things that like I could take out or put in, but that is pretty much how I give report, and you know it works well for me. It's quick, concise, and efficient, which is what I like. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.